Only Thursday, but already the highlight of the week. Time now for final exam, where we see which famous news personality has been paying attention to the news. Tonight, we pit the forces of day against the forces of night. Shannon Bream hosts the brand new Fox News at night at 11 p.m. Eastern. Brett Baer, of course, hosts Special Report every day at 6. They join us both in studio. The first time ever Shannon Bream has been described as a force of darkness. <laughs> that's not a, a title that's been used. I try to use my powers for good. You not do, evil, by the way. You know? You're one of the rare people who does. Okay, so here are the rules. You put your hands on the buzzer. I'm going to ask questions. Mm -hmm. The first one to buzz in gets to answer the question. Each correct answer awards you one point. Each incorrect answer, like the SAT, detracts a point. Best of five wins. And Shannon already has a W. She does. She already does. We do want to psych you out. Can I just take the temperature of the room? You feeling good about this? A little nervous. I mean, a little nervous. I know. It's always because we don't know what's coming. Don't be nervous. Everything uh -huh. depends on this. All right. <laughs> question one. Forbes magazine just released its list of the world's most powerful women this year, which 63-year-old former bartender takes top spot. Bartender. Former bartender. Most powerful? Oh. Brett Baer, ladies and gentlemen. Cheryl Sandberg. Cheryl Sandberg. Is she 63, She's not 63 and a though. former bartender? <laughs> to the tape we go. <laughs> UK's Prime Minister Theresa May taking Clinton's spot as the world's second most powerful woman. German Chancellor Angela Merkel remaining number one. Sorry, you Cheryl. Need to I was about to say, if she, doesn't email, if she doesn't email you after this segment, I, I will lean really out. be surprised. Brett needs to lean way There out. goes my Facebook. Lean out. There goes his All Facebook. Right. Okay, question two. <laughs> question two. That's pretty good. On Sunday night, a former U.S. president threw out the first pitch of the World Series game in Houston, Texas. Who was it? Shannon Bream. Bush 43. Bush 43, as distinct from 41, to the tape we go. 43, taking the field in Houston, where he's greeted by his father, former President George H.W. Bush, who gave him the ball. Such an amazing sight, two presidents on the same diamond, and then President Bush winding up and throwing a strike, of course. Have you tested these lights? <laughs> I mean, have, has there been like a qualified? Like cat like reflexes. This game, it's fundamentally theological. It tells you oh. whose side God is on. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The light. The light. All right. All right, question three. A big name NFL sponsor is blasting the National Football League over its handling of the anthem protest. The company's CEO says his sales are way down due to the league not punishing players who kneel. Which company is it? Brett Bear. Papa John's. Papa John's Pizza, says Brett Bear to the tape. The NFL and its national anthem protest may have had a strange side effect. <laughs> According to the Papa John's CEO, it's hurting pizza sales. And they say it's because nobody's watching football anymore. Mm. Papa John's. Listen I thought you might go Domino's. Yeah. The well, Cheryl Sandberg orders Papa John's. <laughs> <laughs> she does. She's the garlic young. dipping sauce. Have you well, had that with Papa John's? It's, I mean, that's... Remember uh, who you're talking to. Mm. Yeah, I've had the garlic dipping sauce. good stuff. All right, question mm. four. On her current book tour, which has lasted over 11 years, Hillary Clinton was asked which Halloween costume she would be. What was her answer? Oh. Hillary Clinton ran for president fairly recently. <laughs> the book tour has been 11 Selling years. Selling a book. It's been 11 years long. What was her Halloween costume, Shannon? Which would it wait, be? Wait, if she be? were to dress up on Halloween, what would she go as, Hillary Clinton? Um, oh, Brett Bear. Wonder Woman? <gasps> Ooh. Wonder Woman is Brett Bear's answer. What did Hillary say? What are you going to do for Halloween? <laughs> Maybe come as the president. I think that's Yes. With Hillary, the sad answer is always the right answer. Oh. So you go to negative one. That you do. Is, that's yeah, tough. you actually. That's yeah, that's, that's really. That's really that's so we're back to that zero. Okay. We're back to the right, theological underpinnings of this, of this <laughs> Let's go. Of game. Back to my strategizing. Like exactly. Kill me. Right. You don't Final question. Wrong. Everything hangs on this. Okay. Don't feel pressure. The French people in France this week are in crisis mode. They're forced to cut back on their croissant intake. Turns out that country is a major shortage of which ingredient? Brett Bear. To go to zero, flour. Flour! Okay, just to, just to sort of describe the stakes here, I think you're at negative one. That's true. Right? You could be at negative two or you could be at zero. So a lot, everything everything hangs to this. Is the answer flour? 
There's a shortage of butter in France. There's a headline for you. Right, Supermarkets butter. running butter? out. Why? They can't pay for it. What's Poor that? weather, not enough cow feed. Did you know France is the number one consumer hmm. of butter on this planet? 18 pounds of it consumed per person what? in France every oh, year. Wow. Wow. Cholesterol. It sounds so much more official when Stewart says it. The What's deeper up? question, though, at 18 pounds per person per year, why are they so thin? They walk everywhere. Right. Atkins is real. I think that's it. It is. It might be. Yeah. Uh, Shannon Bream, the it? second week in a row. That is. Oh. That is oh. it. And you win again. So who was what the do first? I win? Brian Kilmeade so went I took down. Him down. Yeah, Brian took Kilmeade him went down. down. Yeah. Here's the thing. Like, like the goose calling championship every year. You may know this. I don't know. You do it three times in a row, and you're you're out. You're eliminated. So but I if take you down win one three more times person. In a row, then you are the all-time champion. I can't champion. ever come back. The moral champion for sure. Thank you both. That was awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. That's it for this week's final exam.